you upgrade your technology to enhance your performance. Um, and, and if you have the technology <coughs> that is in your head that you would like to perform that doesn't exist today, what would it be like? What would be the visual? What would we see? Well, if there were no limits, you know, yeah, where, 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 were you, where would you dream of going? You yeah, know, this yeah. There are yeah, there are a lot of ideas. I have the, um, the technology upgrades happen all the time. I mean, this is, I, I haven't um, just I don't know. It's my third kind of generation of, of computer um, of CPU um, GPU that I'm performing these with, and I'm finding that oh wow, you know, I can um, you know draw a lot more than I, I could on my old computer, um, and uh, and that's that's you know. I didn't have to do anything for that. That was that was easy. But uh, but I'm always trying to explore various you know, new techniques, but um, and new um, and, and and just explore the aesthetic of you know if I'm going to be doing this live, why? You know what what is this all about? Why would I be doing it live when I can have a much more controlled experience and much more thoughtful kind of you know just you know put it in the you know, and do it exactly the way I want it to by doing it frame by frame or, or pre-recording it, um, and, uh, and 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 so exploring those kind of things as well as you know pushing deeper and deeper into uh, kind of a live movie, um, for lack of a better word, um, kind of exploration where where and you know we see this with all kinds of real-time hardware that are just, it's just catching up to um, you know. Still lagging pretty far behind, but it's it's catching up to what is being done in the pre-rendered world, and um, and and so you know my dream is to be able to you know do anything that you could do in a in a movie you know be able to do as a as a performance. Uh, the other another kind of problem of my exploration is just to be able to do more as a as a solo performer too, and that's something that is really uh, to me that's really exciting when you know starting with you know. Uh, great films and stuff. As a teenager, you couldn't make a, a single person couldn't make a cell animated film. And to do something with color was, it was kind of expensive, but to do something with sound, like on a film, it's like ridiculous. You, you know, so people tended to make silent films. Um, and um, and now it's it's just, it's it's crazy easy, you know, to make stuff on the computer. And, and uh, I would, I think that probably for teenagers it's easier for them to make a film than it is for them to write a poem or, or a book or something like that. And it's, it, it's kind of funny how that's, that's flipped in the last few decades. So pushing the, the envelope as far as what a, a, a single person can do. Uh, a few years ago somebody asked me, I don't want to make this a long thing, but a few years ago somebody asked me, when do you think um, a single person will be able to make Dr. Zhivago, the movie. You know, not just the book, which obviously was done by a person, but, but you know, the, the, the movie. When could a single person do that? And I was like, it's now or never. I mean, because, you know, to, to be able to, it, it's now or never. I mean, it, we can do it now if, if this is what we put our mind to. And that's what I'm kind of pursuing uh, as far as that goes. Um, anyway, if all I'm up doing up here is Cutting to the beat, or you know, um, choosing the colors. It's not valuable input, you know, for me. And, and, and I could just, you know, push a button and walk away. Or um, and, and, and as well, there's things up there that are going to happen every performance the same way. And so I guess that's the kind of automation. I mean, it's just. But <laughs> I, I guess I don't have a good answer. Maybe, uh, maybe I can help a little bit. What, what I was referring to actually. So sort of the, the difference, I think we're getting caught up here, on the difference between something like sound triggering, where the, the sound is automatically being triggered by, um, by uh, the, the parameters, the environment the parameters that are built, versus um, you, you obviously have to build your environmental parameters, and within that, uh, you need to be able to change those up. So that's, that's kind of what I was, I was referring to, more so sound triggering versus uh, the building of oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Like, like whether I'm like yeah. triggering some se sound sequence or or, or, or some film more so that you're ha that you say you're having uh, MIDI uh, control right, elements right. of your animation, yeah. or that you're having uh, you know the, the, the uh, some kind of wave follower on the, on the baseline or something.
Right, right, right. right. No, there is there is actually in, in, in terms of making a more let's say interactive soundtrack or, for, or interactive for me at the very least, um, or just um, it's something that I'm I'm working on. I, I, I haven't got the tools that I really want to be able to kind of um, uh, do it the way that I want to do it yet. But it's it's stuff that I'm. That's an easy answer. <laughs> I, I guess my question was was more towards towards. Uh, Using music analogy, you know, a, a, a single musician playing a single instrument has a pretty broad range of tonality and right. sounds, and there's a, there's a pretty broad palette out of that one instrument. But uh, when when you put several people together and have a band, there's an interaction, very interesting interaction between all those instruments. Right. And and yet uh, one one person couldn't really do all that at the same time. Too much to control, and and yeah. you know th that sort of interplay between people couldn't happen very well either. I mean, it's pretty amazing that people can play left and right hand at the same time. But, but what I'm thinking of in terms of a band, I, I can't envision happening just through one person. So my question was kind of more: what what have you found in exploring how much you can control and how you can control it, how well you can control it, and how that is a, is, 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 is is that a broad enough expression for? To satisfy you, or would you see yourself moving in the direction of a band or a visual band? Or yeah, um, I don't. I, I feel that there's you know room to grow. I'm not using my feet yet, you know. And <laughs> and and and, um, and again, you know, I mean, that the, in the couple of years, you know, that uh, I've been using a joystick and kind of designing a, an interface for it uh, on the computer um, for you know. Determining what those controls do, I find that I can, you know, stretch out further, and um, and then as far as being able to put together systems that allow you to, I mean, you know, just like a synthesizer, you can have, you know, multiple. I mean, a, a single person can kind of, you know, get that orchestral sound or or, or whatever. You know, with, with you know, multiple keyboards and just splitting up their keyboards and having different patches on them. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and as far as, you know, the band, I mean, there isn't, I don't think there's a limit to like a three person band, you know, how big their sound, you know, can be. You know, there's some that, like a bluegrass band, you can hear every individual instrument, and then there's others where you just, you don't know where the guitar or the bass is, or, you know, uh, it's all it's all kind of in there, and, and you know, with synthesized drums or, you know, samples on the keyboards, um, you know, it, it's expanding our facility, in our individual facilities, you know, further. And it, obviously, you can do that in the band as well, but, um, uh, you know, there's, there's some trade-offs to, you know, being in a band versus being solo. Um, aesthetically, and just, you know, uh, real-world <laughs> issues. Uh, and, um, uh, but, you know, I can see that happening, but but there are ways of you know collaborating with you know music, musicians. Musicians is an easy collaboration because I have my domain, they have their domain. You know, we meet in the middle, we you know appreciate what each other do and work together in that. That's that's an easy one to do, uh, uh, and um, and, and there, there's those kinds of collaborations that are really easy. Um, and yeah, I haven't I haven't, I haven't felt the need to to, to you know. Be in a band, and it's. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I will. I might not be the kind of artist that does that. Um, but uh, not to say other people won't. I, I think we got to end it there. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.